So today, guys, I'm doing this video to show you that you can, you know, do what you love and still be at the top of your sport. And I want to get across that why I'll be going to Rangers games this whole season and also why I'm going to Seville so close to World's Strongest Man. People keep asking on YouTube and asking me why am I going to Rangers when I've got World's Strongest Man? Why does Luke do cold water when he's got World's Strongest Man? There's a question for you. So basically, my love for Rangers, everybody knows I'm passionate about Rangers. I don't lie about liking my football team. You know, I don't lie about liking football. It maybe got me into trouble in the past with sponsors, but it is what it is. I'm never, ever, I never lie about you know what I'm passionate about. Yes, yeah, so obviously Rangers have got to the Europa League final. May the 18th, they're playing in Seville, Spain, against Frankfurt, and obviously I fly to World Strongest Man on the 20th, and big decision, well it wasn't really, it was a no-brainer. As soon as they got through on uh, a few weeks ago, I contacted some private flight people and said, look, I'm going to Seville, no matter what, put me on the flight. So I, myself and Sinead are going over to Seville, Tuesday to Thursday, come home Thursday and fly to Worlds on Friday. So I think people will be like, oh Tom, you're nuts, what are you doing? But, you know, I've been to every single Scottish ground this year, except from Celtic Park and uh, St Mirren Stadium. You know, I travel week in, week out with Glasgow Rangers. I have been doing for, you know, even when I started Strawman all the way up to now. So I'm never going to change my life for Strawman or for anybody else. What I love to do is go into football games on a weekend. That's my uh, go-to and to get, get away from Strawman, that's my... A coping me mechan mechanism of getting away and you know on the weekends I don't have to talk about strongman, don't have to talk about the gym. Watching a football game with 50,000 other people who are so passionate about football and it you know makes me kind of happy as well. Just like cold water makes Luke happy you know. The reason Luke's lucky is because he's got cold water five minutes from him. The only difference with me I have to travel to get to what I like to do so it's the exact same thing it's just I have to travel more I'm not drinking at it I'm eating my diet's 100% my recovery's 100% so everything's good Silver for me was a no-brainer Rangers getting to a Europa League final this happened in 2008 when I was like 10 or 10 years old obviously I was too young to go down so to actually be there I'm going to be in the stadium as well with Sinead it's going to be unbelievable you know I thought I was only going to get to Spain to actually get tickets for this and to witness something that could be, you know, will live with me forever, will be in a great experience. Every time range, I go to a Rangers game, every time Rangers win as well, um, even if they lose, I always have that, the next day I always have a great bit of adrenaline, so, you know, it's going to uh, help me in my travels to Worlds and stuff. But yeah, basically going over there, no drinking, just going to eat, enjoy the sun. I mean, it's 32 degrees over there as we speak right now, that's four degrees colder than, a in, than America where we're going, so I'm going to climatise two days earlier than a lot of UK athletes as well. The time difference is an hour ahead, so I'll get used to a wee bit of the time difference. I just get used to being in the heat, you know, I'll just be eating lots of good food and Spanish food's nice. I'll be around really good company as well, meeting some, you know, ex-footballers and doing some stuff for Rangers as well on, on the TV. So it's a dream of mine to be able to do this and to say that I can watch my team in the Europa League Cup final. And yeah, that's why I'm going to be doing this. I am very, very involved in football, as a lot of people know. I'm very passionate about my club. This year for World Strongest Man, I didn't want to sacrifice loads of things. Last year, I sacrificed everything. This year, I wanted to have a balance of enjoying my life, enjoying being around my family and my wife and being able to do things I love, and that's what I do. I do straw man on the weekdays, I do football on the weekends. For me, going to a football game when you're driving and eating your right food <laughs> doesn't do nothing to you. you know, you're watching football for 90 minutes and you're driving home. Football's my life, been growing up, you know. I've been football fanatic since I've been able to walk, even before, st all the way up to straw man. I play football, I still play football to this day, just not as well. <laughs> and I've always supported Glasgow Rangers. I always use Luke and cold water as an example. If you take cold water away from Luke, he would be going downhill. If you took football away from me, I go downhill. So it's that's what I'm trying to get across is, you know, Luke's happy when he's in cold water and that makes him, you know, happy, buzzing. It sets his day up right. When I go to the football games, it makes me happy, buzzing. I smile, you know, I come into work the next day very, very kind of positive and happy. So it's the exact same things. It's just I'm traveling four hours to get to it where Luke needs to travel 10. So that's the point I'm trying to get across. You know, I'm not doing anything else different. I'm just enjoying my life and uh, doing it right way. But also, I think people kept saying I was not taking Welsh Road Man serious, but if you have a look at my, or if you subscribe to my private group on Facebook, you'll know I'll be taking Straw Man seriously 100% more than everybody else. I think I've probably, behind the net press, more than anybody else I've seen on social media, lifted up heavier 
deadlift medley or more than everybody on social media so at the end of the day people can keep saying what they say but I'll never change for no one that's just me I'm going to the world's strongest man as a as the world's strongest man I'm the world's strongest man for a reason and my training is better this year than it was last year I've beaten every single person on that um, on the dance floor that I'm going to be up against uh, obviously except for Martins but I know that I'm, I'm better than Martins anyway for this year for this world's strongest man five day events I think I suit me better but like I said I'm going in there confidence no one worries about me, nothing worries about me, no events worry me, and the events for me are really good, so, yeah, I'm taking uh, uh, World's Strongest Man seriously, it's just sad that people think you can't enjoy your life and do the thing you love as well, but it is what it is, social media is social media, nothing like that bothers me, and then also, a thing I'm looking forward to as well, after World's Strongest Man, I can't say too much, it's to do with football, and me running around a football pitch, which I'm very buzzing about, um, I could be a professional football by the end of July, August, so yeah, it's going to be good because I think after World Strawman Man as well, a wee teaser for you guys that I'm going to be tapering down from <coughs> in Straw Man for the next year after Worlds, you know, enjoy life a bit more and <coughs> venture out with Straw Man and do some other things for a year just to, you know, hopefully have kids and enjoy time with my wife and stuff more, go on holidays and just do the stuff I've missed, so that's a wee teaser, but yeah, I'll be doing something massive after World Strawman Man, something that's going to probably blow my profile up that I've never thought before, get really good contacts and hopefully do some very, very cool YouTube videos with some cool guys and uh, some people that I never ever thought that I'd be able to meet. It's an unbelievable opportunity for myself, but let's just go out there and one world strongest man first, then we can go do the other thing. The other thing will be announced soon. We are in just in talks with doing the promo video, so you'll see that soon, so hopefully you enjoy it. But yeah, that's why I'm going to Seville, I'm going to Rangers. Don't need to explain myself anymore. I'm going there because I love the club. Everyone will see how much work I've put into World Strongest Man when I'm over there. And you have to realise as well, Worlds doesn't start till the 24th. I'm travelling out five days before it, so yeah, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to Seville. A nice wee two hours in the plane and then a two hour plane journey home. And then I arrive home Thursday, pack my bags and I go to Worlds on Friday. My overall kind of message to this video was kind of just to <coughs> to get a point off across why I'm going to Seville and why I, I go to football games and enjoy my life. You know, you need to have a balance in your life, which is very important for myself. And if you're only doing, if you're only working or doing a straw, being a straw man or being 15, 16 hours at your job every day and doing nothing else, and it's a very miserable life and you're never going to be able to achieve your next goal. If I'm only, only ever just going to think about straw man, I'll go down this way instead of going up. So that's why I keep the balance, you know, Monday to Friday. I do my YouTube videos, I do whatever I need to do in the office and work, and I do the gym. Saturday, Sundays, I don't touch the gym, I don't think about strawman, I don't do anything with strawman. I stay away from the gym, that's why when people come up on the weekends, you know, I never ever see people at the gym because I'm never there, so I always try and travel away from the gym, stay away from it as much as I can and have that balance in life, and that helps me, you know, it's going to help a lot of people as well, because the measure a lot of people get is, Oh, I can't go to a football game or I can't go to watch rugby or I can't go a weekend away because I've got a straw man competition in two weeks or I've got this in two weeks. Like, yes, you can go do it. You can travel any time you want as long as you're eating and recovering just as good. So it's, uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, Seville's got some amazing uh, facilities that will benefit me being over there than, than the UK don't. So yeah, I'm going over there, going to have some fun and not think about straw man for two days, which is great, you know. I'm going to go meet Drew McIntyre, some other f ex footballers and you know, just live the dream for a wee while so I cannot wait thank you for watching this hopefully some of you are watching this I'll be seeing you in Seville come get a selfie with me let's go support the Rangers all the way to the Europa League final as champions stay safe smile and stay spicy and keep ringing that little bell <laughs>